G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. So I'm going to try and plow through a few jobs this week. Unfortunately, uh, I did take a few days off work, but there's a Arctic snap coming through, which I didn't expect to happen. Um, so it's going to be really horrible we weather. We're looking at 30 knot winds and um, it's going to be pouring down with rain for the next week. That being said, I'm still going to try and get some work done. Um, we got a little bit of uh, sunshine today. Well, not really sunshine. We got some cloud cover. Uh, but it will be pouring down with rain later today. So what I want to try and get done is with the 30 knot winds and some uh, hail and that um, I've got these giant beams laying down here, which I was going to slide under the boat uh, when we lifted it with the crane But the, the crane wouldn't lift the boat So while it's sitting here, I'm going to weld some extra supports um, So that the weight of the boat is spread across that whole beam. So I'm going to weld a couple of those beams we took out they're, they're six mil thick uh angle line and i've got some over this side as well so i'm going to put one either side it's going to spread that load out that whole beam and uh <coughs> that those gale force winds are not going to push my boat over anymore so that's going to be handy uh the other thing i'm going to try and do is because it takes such a long time to weld all these studs on these windows up here I'm going to cut up some boards to block the ones that I haven't done and they're going to be fitted on the outside so no rain's going to get in but it'll still allow me to weld all the studs on uh, while the boat's now waterproof so I'm going to cut up some boards and up the top I'm going to um, cover the hard dodger with a, a tarp and there's some drain holes in the cockpit uh, which basically don't have anything attached to them and when all that water comes in from the hard dodger and, and in the cockpit it just drains in the boat and that's a large area and a large volume of water getting in so i've got some hose which we're going to put on some fittings and they're going to drain out of the boat now so let's get this boat a bit more user friendly <music> Well, I got all four of these uprights welded on. I wanted to arc weld them because I need to save some of the gas for other welding. So, a bit of arc welding happening today. So, I got these two done. Put a bit, a bit of a big weld on that one. So, yeah, that boat's not going to move now. Another two uprights there. One of my next projects for today is getting this cockpit a bit waterproof. So either side we've got these drains installed and a fair bit of rain comes in here and this fills up with water and all the water drops down there. That just uh, all flows into the bilge um, at the moment so we need to stop that water from getting into the bilge. I bought this flexible hosing it's just some cheap ten dollar hose and um that will fit over these fittings so nice quick install for that and we'll stop all that water getting into the bilge it is starting to rain already so no more power tools uh, but yeah we can still tick off a few more jobs Here's one of those cockpit drains. So we've got these fittings. Put 
And what I'm going to do is we've got a through hole there. There's also another three hole there. I'm just going to pop this drain going through the, into the through hole. Just for now, because that's going to let the water go straight out to the, to the ground outside. Nothing fancy, but that's the job I should have done a while ago, stopping the water from getting in. So now it's not just gonna pour out of those fittings, but yeah, just gonna go down and straight out the boat on both of them. So yeah, nothing fancy, just something that should have been done. So my next little job I wanna get done is oh, the spare windows, like I said earlier. They're about 95 centimeters by 27 centimeters. Need to stop the water getting in there. It's uh, raining at the moment, just spitting anyway. I've got these uh, sheets of ply that I laid down while trying to determine the height of the floors in the saloon. Uh, I've got three of these left over, so might as well cut these up and we'll get them as cover plates for while I'm welding those studs on. It's taken a while to weld those studs, but um, in the meantime, this is gonna keep all the water out. Like I have been beaten by the rain for a little bit. Still got my chicken going and I've got to uh, try and flip that chicken over. So we're gonna get some wet. As you see, not heaps of water comes in, but it's it's a bit of a droplet, a constant droplet when it's raining. Also got to fix up my tarping. There's a fair bit of water coming in through the tarps. So basically what I'm gonna do with this is put this on the outside. And I've chopped up a bunch of these. And we're going to screw that in, in a way that we can turn and lock that in place, like a little door handle. Let's see how we go.
Well, it's considerably stopped all the water coming in. We've got a little bit of excess that's rolling over and dripping in, but no rain is coming in and all the water that rolls off the hole down the side is not coming in anymore. Uh, it's a considerable improvement. Got my lunch off the barbie. Down in the aft cabin, I decided to put together a bit of a, uh, you know, mocked up what the bed height might be. I had a couple of different height changes, but um, this one seems to be the best. So if I was standing on the floor, it would be at my knee height. So that, that allows you to sort of sit down nice and comfortably. And then pretty nice position. And then, as you saw me before, lay across the beam, gives you plenty of head height. So, pretty happy with that. Then I marked out the line across here. So that's a parallel line going horizontally across the boat, uh, just using a little laser. Uh, so basically measured back from the laser to the aft bulkhead on both sides, got it parallel. Um, so then I measured out the length of the bed will be 203 centimetres and I added about 100 mil to have a nice fluffy bed head on, on the end there. So yeah, that comes to this line here. So that gives us X amount here. So the bed frame will be from that line back. So from this line forward, uh, that'll be our floor. So now I know exactly where I need to make my floor. So now that I know that, I can get some bars in here and work out some levels.
So I've managed to get the flooring done in the aft cabin. I've had to put in a few braces because it's such a long area and all the boards were bowing. So I start out with this one long piece and I put these cross braces in. Um, however, yeah, putting the boards on there, it's still flexed in the middle, so I've popped another one in there. I tried to keep that away from this sort of area here where the uh, prop shaft goes through. And yeah, then down over here, the wings sort of, so as a, as a board comes out, they sort of dipped over here by the hull. So put in another plate here, just reinforce that plate so that didn't bow. And I arc welded it all this time. So we'll pop the boards on and see what it looks like. So that's the aft cabin flooring done. This is a, the spot where the bed will come up. So it's a bit decent enough walkway. Hey guys, so the next job on the list is to reinforce these um, little stops that we put in for the steering. So I agree with everyone, after years of this just being hit, it's like there's some pretty beefy welds on there. Um, so it'd be hard to move it, but you know, high, with the hydraulic power and over 30 years of repercussion, it could crack the welds or it could, yeah, tear the welds. So we will beef these up. So the best way to do it would be to put a gusket, gusset straight down like that. Um, that's the strongest way. However, being at its location in the actual, uh, this little stringer here, it'd be hard to get a weld in around here at a 45 and then weld up. And then same on this side, I'd have to sort of try and come under or over the top and weld it. It's just not logistically, uh, good to do that. I'm just going to probably put a crappy weld in there. So I'm going to cheat and um, basically put a reinforcement going from the top of the gusset to the stringer. Um, that the force is right at the top getting supported. Um, it, it, it will beef it up a lot and uh, it won't move. I don't expect that to move. Um, so we'll do that now. It's going to be a nice quick job and uh, finish this little section off. Nice to have the flat floor to work on too. So that might help my back a little bit. So yeah, I'll get to welding. So we've got this floor all done, that's nice. Um, there's all the reinforcement on these brackets is all done. Um, so yeah, we've got a bit more strength there. And uh, yeah, keep pushing forward, some small jobs. So next week, I'm gonna try and start welding up the bed frame in this room, because it's uh, basically the last thing to do in this aft cabin. So that'll get us basically ready for blast and paint in this room. Uh, and also next week I want to try and get that door done in the, in the forward head. So we need to move that over 100 mil. So yeah, that's all we got time for this week. If you like the episode, leave a like and a comment and uh, let us know how we're going. So see you all next week. Thanks guys.